The Philippine Air Force is in the midst of a transformation effort aimed at revitalizing its territorial defense capabilities. While retaining the ability to support the armed forces of the Philippines, internal security operations, as well as national development efforts and respond to calamities. As the Air Force transitions to territorial defense, it's now in need of a new fighter aircraft, capable of aerial reconnaissance, forward air control, electronic warfare, and air defense identification zone implementer. With the use of fighter jets, for both air superiority and support. These roles are fit to Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70, in which the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group has been chosen for their multi-role fighter, and if approved, it will be joining the Philippine Air Force under the 5th Fighter Wing. In this video, we will see how the Philippine Air Force selected the F-16 Block 70 for multi-role fighter acquisition project looking at how much it cost, how many units will there be, and how long for the Philippine Air Force fighter pilots to train for this aircraft. But more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. Throughout the years, the Philippine Air Force aspires to have many multi-role fighter jets in its inventory. Even it predates way back the 1990s, as the administration of then-President Fidel Ramos passed the original Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program or Republic Act 7898. Several attempts from the early 1990s all failed due to a lack of funding from the Philippine government. In the mid-1990s, the Philippine Air Force shortlisted several fighter aircraft. Offers made as part of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program and ultimately selected the McDonnell Douglas F-18C Hornet to be its next multi-role fighter. The first batch of 12 units was planned, with a possible option of up to 20 for more within the next 10 years. However, such aspirations that almost went to fruition was disappeared as the region plunged in the Asian financial crisis of 1997, hit the Philippine economy badly, forcing the Philippine Air Force to abandon its dreams and making do with whatever is left of their budget. After the exchange rate of the Philippine pesos severely dropped, and the government reduced its allocations. There were also several offers made between that, although the Philippine Air Force was not able to take a full grasp of the chances. On the 20th of June 2018, the Philippine government approved the Philippine Air Force plan to revive the multi-role fighter acquisition project with a budget of up to 61.2 billion pesos for 12 units of multi-role fighter aircraft. According to Max Defense, the package includes integrated logistics support and all necessary arrangements, equipment, training, tools, documents and technical support, logistics and transportation, and possibly spare parts. There are several models were considered for the project, including the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet, which is the successor of the older and smaller F-18 C Hornet, the new Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper, Saab J-39 Gripen, United Aircraft Corporation's Mikoyan MiG-35 Fulcrum F and Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E. In the end, the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group for the project shortlisted the J-39 Gripen and the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper. In August 2019, Max Defense sources confirmed that the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group selected the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper, which topped the selection over the other shortlisted model, the Saab J-39 Gripen. There's no complete information provided from the Department of National Defense on why they select the F-16 Viper over the J-39 Gripen. However, the J-39 Gripen has an advantage over the F-16 Block 70 Viper. Gripen has a low purchase and operating cost, quick turnaround time, few requirements for infrastructure, and the simplicity of overall operation. 
However, results from the Slovakian fighter competition came out, which is between the Saab J-39 Gripen and Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper, similar to those competing for the multi-role fighter acquisition for the Philippine Air Force. They found that the J-39 Gripen was less capable in carrying load and equipment, lower fuel capacity, lower tactical range, lower endurance, lower climbing ability, and significantly lower acceleration compared to the F-16 Block 70 Viper. The Gripen also found to be using the older generation of avionics like Nana ESA radar, early warning and protection systems, which doesn't meet current and future air operation requirements of the Slovakian Air Force. However, the F-16 variant being offered by Lockheed Martin to the Philippine Air Force is the Block 70, which is the most advanced variant of F-16, equipped with much more advanced radar, and with a wingspan of 30 to feet, length 49 feet, height 16 feet, weight 8,936 kilograms, maximum takeoff weight 16,875 kilograms, fuel capacity 3,175 kilograms and can carry to external tanks with 5,443 kilograms of fuel. Payload can carry two 2,000 pound bombs with two AIM-9 and to AIM-120 and two external fuel tanks with speed of 1,500 miles per hour or Mach 2 range more than 2,000 miles ferry range ceiling 50,000 feet armament 20 mm multi-barrel cannon with 500 rounds and can carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles conventional air-to-air -air and air-to-surface munitions and electronic countermeasure pods. The F-16 Block 70 Viper radar is based on the radars used in the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. It provides unmatched capabilities for air-to-air, air-to-surface, stealth, and electronic warfare operations. The active electronically scanned array or ESA radar, boasting super resolution, jam resistance and can track multiple targets simultaneous. Air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations in all weather which allows detection out of 65 nautical miles and can also perform wide area surface scans that make huge high resolution SAR maps at long range with a single look. Unlike the small map areas of legacy fighter radars, the radar tracks and identifications are integrated and displayed to the pilot on the F-16 Advanced Situational Awareness Cockpit Display Systems. The automatic target queuing capabilities locates targets and reduces pilot workload. The pilot can zoom in on an area of interest to expand the detail. With no new map required, the advanced algorithms recognize and identify military targets with outstanding reliability. It will also be standard with the Joint Helmet Mounted Queuing System 2, or Jehamax 2, for full advantage in using the AIM-9X Sidewinder off boresight missile, which is capable of locking target or engaging target 90 degrees off boresight. It also brings a high-definition display, day or night, with high-contrast crisp video and color symbology into the pilot's view. It has clicked on, night goggles use a normal hassle-free NVG attaching bracket and operational. Night vision capabilities include full support for night vision color symbology. Recently, the Boeing executives are in the Philippines to meet with officials from the Philippine Air Force. While they are not directly offering a fighter aircraft to the Philippine Air Force, they are offering air-launched munitions that can use for the F-16 Block 70 Viper. Among those offered to the Philippine Air Force are the AGM-84 Harpoon is an air-launched anti-ship cruise missile and the Joint Direct Attack Munition or JDAM, a guided smart bomb system, plus several other products not related to the multi-role fighter project. The F-16 Block 70 is the most advanced variant, of F-16 multi-role fighters were deployed to the Persian Gulf in 1991 in support of Operation Desert Storm, where more sorties flown than with any other aircraft. However, if finally approved Lockheed Martin's offer only allows for the first batch of fighters to be delivered to the Philippine Air Force after more than two years from the NTP release and may go around two to five years based on previous deals with other countries and due to the US government's lengthy process of getting approval from the U.S. Congress and State Department for Export. The Philippines Department of National Defense assured that the U.S. State Department has no issue and will release their approval quickly, and the pilot training for F-16 will be in the U.S. and will take three to four years. Training will be for all air operations, including aerial refueling 
Having a new kind of aircraft that is more capable, powerful, and combat proven like the F-16 Block 70 Viper will further enhance the capabilities of the Philippine Air Force.